just about sailing April 2019. No, this is although this is coming out on April 1st, this is not an April Fool's joke. And I know I've only just put out a video a few days ago, but what I thought I would do, um, because it was quite a warm day and I had other things to do on the day that I tested out or switched on the uh, the diesel heater, is um, to actually do a kind of this is just going to be a full run. So, what I'm going to do, it's a nice chilly sort of 10 degrees ish type day today. I'm going to do a full proper start up set a temperature probably about 22 degrees or something let it run for ages see how good it is at stabilizing stuff and then do a full sort of uh, switch down so um this is pr and, I, and i've also got one of these uh, thermometer things that measures temperatures at a distance so i'll go through the various um temperatures and things and see what happens uh, thanks for all the very interesting comments from the last two videos and as I say if you are going to do a job like this do read the comments because some of those ideas were great and some of those things that people have suggested had I have thought about them or known about them before I might well have done things in a slightly different way so do read them. One very important one I'm going to mention though is carbon monoxide alarm. Yes I do have a carbon monoxide alarm. I forgot to mention it um, and just block your ears for a second. That's going to wake you up. That's important. That's um, that's something you should always have there because we do have exhaust joints sort of within the body of the the boat, and although it's fairly blocked off, um, safety should be. It's flashing. Why is it flashing? Anyway, let's get on and boot this thing up and and have a check on it. Okay. Right. So it's plugged in. It's switched off. Uh, zero current draw at the moment. Let's switch it on. There we go. 12.3 degrees centigrade, 76 relative humidity. You can see the amp starting to go up. This, I say, that's normally the clock, so that's at zero. So this, obviously I'm not going to do this in real time. I should cut back to it. Glow plug is on, hence the current draw. The amps are going up. So if memory serves me right, obviously the, the glow plug gets heated up to a certain point. Um, and then when it reaches a particular temperature the um, fuel pump will kick in and then the fuel will start burning and then once it gets to the point where, the, where it's hot enough for the fuel to keep burning on its own uh, the glow plug will switch off and the current will go down and that was after about four and a half minutes when I did it previously so let's see what what happens here so here we go the fuel pump has kicked in And there we go, we can see that the glow plug has switched off and the amps are going down quite significantly and it sounds like the fan has speeded up a bit. Right, it's now 20 minutes since it started. It's, it's actually feeling a bit toasty in here, although this is saying it's up to 16.9. If you press the OK button, this cycles around here. So this is saying that the ambient temperature is 20 according to this gauge which is different from this. I'll, I'll take this around the cabin and see if, if there's a different temperature. Um, I've set it for 22 which I think is fair. Um, that tells me the battery state and that's obviously giving a different reading to the to this which is more accurate. Um, and it's saying I'm 90 four meters below sea level which if I was on a voyage would be a little bit worrying and that's zero zero that's error codes there's no error codes just as well because I wouldn't know what to do if there was one right so it's getting quite close to the temperature that I set it for so I'm going to just take some measurements 50 60s if I can shine it right inside 61 61 degrees C coming out there that 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 sounds about right to me that's that's sort of what I would expect right so this is an important consideration how well is this lagging working? So 29. That's higher than I would have expected. Yeah, I can I can feel that's that's warm. So this lagging is obviously working, but. Um, 
127. 130. I would have thought it had been hotter than that, but again, I'm not sure this is the best way of actually measuring this. Right, lots of wind noise, but that's reading about 51, which I don't believe. It's just not desperately hot. I think a lot of that heat is getting dissipated, or it might have reached its temperature now and it's it's calming down a little bit, but that's that's hot but not ridiculous. Right, so I tried the I think this is reading a little bit low, so I'm gonna put the required temperature up a little bit, put it up to 25 degrees and see, see what happens, because obviously at the moment I'm 23 and I've asked for 25. So let's see what happens when it kicks back in. So it's at full tilt now, both those bars are up. Higher current draw, you can really hear the fan whizzing, whizzing around. Um, so I'm quite impressed at the way that this has kind of gone up and down, so I'm going to leave it carry on because I do want to do a decent kind of test on this and it's now been running for 51 minutes um, and then we'll do a shutdown and see what happens there. Right the temperature has gone up to 26 degrees C which is one degree over what I set and that seems to be the point at which it starts to the thermostat effect starts to kick in because I can hear that the fan is going down lower and the amps are dropping. Right, so it's just dropped down to 24 degrees C and I'm expecting it to, I might be completely wrong, it might need to drop another degree, but I'm expecting it to all fire up again soon. Let's see what the time is. Right, so it's one hour and 25 minutes since I've switched it on. So as I said, I'm predicting that this will start to go up now. It seems to stick on these two yellow bars when it's kind of in tick over, and this is about 0 0.5, 0 0.6, so I'm predicting it's just gonna, yeah, I think it is, I think it's starting to go up now. So that's quite nice. It's, it's, it, it kind of goes up and down based on the thermostat. Yeah, it's definitely beginning to pick up again now. Yeah, no, I'm very happy with that. I think those settings are about right, actually. It's a very comfortable heat as well. I'm actually quite, happy in here. Right let's do it let's do a shutdown now and let's see what um, what happens because I wasn't particularly taking much notice of this before and I hadn't realized for example the glow plug turned back on it at one point so let's hit the off button there you go so it's switching off you can hear the fan go down Fuel pump stays on, fans right down. Glow plugs back on. So what this is obviously doing is looking to burn excess fuel, I'm assuming, so it doesn't kind of soot up. So you can see the amps have gone right back up to 7, 7.5. And you can see the little glow plug symbol. So fans down, glow plugs up, pump is now off, fuel pump is now off. So this is literally just heating up and getting rid of any excess fuel. Or at least I'm guessing that's what's, what's happening. Any, any comments that you think, because I am guessing on this stuff, but that seems fairly logical to me. And obviously this is why you can't just switch off the power because there is a very specific power down regime. And the glow plugs off and the amps are going back down again with the fan is still spinning. So there we go, we're down to the two bars 
and I heard a little click, it's gone off, the current's dropping down. So basically we are switched off. So that didn't take long to, to sort of cool it down, did it? I, I like the fact that the glow plug goes on actually to burn off the excess full fuel, so that's that's a good thing. So there we go, very happy with that. And I, I just abandoned the manual to be quite honest because it is so difficult to, to read and figure out what's going on. But I think I understand this little device more, more now. So there we go, as I say, uh, possibly the most boring video you've ever seen, but to be quite honest, unless you were actually interested in how one of these things works in practice, you wouldn't have got to this stage. Um, any comments on that? First of all, I'm really, really pleased at the way that it starts up and sort of cools down. It seems to just run at full power until it reaches the temperature that you've set, and or in fact until it reaches a degree above the temperature you've set, and then it switches off to this kind of old, old, uh, idle mode until it gets to a degree below what you've set, and then goes back up to um, maximum power. So that's probably the right way of doing it, because obviously you don't want the things running too slow, otherwise you're going to get carbon build-up. So, seems very sensible to me. I'm not sure how effective this thing was in terms of measuring the temperature. I think when I measured the exhaust out the back it had already gone down to the idle speed because it didn't feel very warm putting my hand on it. And I think sometimes if you use these with reflective surfaces it's not particularly good. So certainly well worth lagging the pipe between the heater and the outlet into the cabin because that was actually quite warm. And in fact, I'm even wondering if I ought to have a sort of a double set of that, but it, it's kicking out quite a nice lot of heat into the cabin. It warmed up fairly quickly. As I say, it's not the coldest of days today. So um, anyway, as I always say, um, do put comments uh, down below to see if you've spotted something that I haven't. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for that. And now, of course, I will hardly ever use it until next winter because it started, the weather started to look very nice indeed. So anyway, I said this was not an April 1st one. Uh, this was the first one out in April of 2019 and I'm hoping to get some of the... I've got lots of half-finished jobs so that's really going to be my focus is to get those half-finished jobs done. Um, I won't promise anything until May, but I might even get two or three out in April. We, we don't know. I'm planning to, to see if I can do quite a lot in April. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.